It is being called the world's largest ransomware attack. Last Friday, a form of malware paralyzed computers in 150 countries. Thankfully, few companies in the U.S. were hit. The group demanded a ransom of $300 to each company to release their files. And now we are learning North Korean hackers called the Lazarus Group could be behind it. And these attacks, they cost you money. So 10 News reporter Garen Flowers is here this morning to help protect you. Jackie, I'm going to show you how hackers work. Don't get it twisted. This is not a lesson on how to steal information, but it's an important view into what hackers do so you know how to protect yourself. Dustin Holifer, former pro wrestler turned pro hacker, is looking at how he can take down Channel 10. This is the research portion, trying to learn about our targets. He showed me where it begins, finding email addresses. Yeah, right now it's just searching against uh, search engines and um, other online sources to find anything associated with WTSP.com. Using an application called the Harvester, it didn't take long for mine to pop up. And now you can send us a mass email. Yeah. And in a minute, when it's done, I'll be able to tell you how many potential emails there are in this list. With that information, hackers find a crafty way to fish you in, hook, line, and sinker. They create a personalized email, send it to the company, and need just one person to fall for the bait. Something uh, this business know, we'll, owner we'll can tell you himself. By day four, I wasn't sleeping anymore. Ray Sikorsky built verified label print and promotions from the ground up. Ever His company is 22 years old, and in just two weeks, almost lost it all after one employee clicked a bad email attachment that seemed pretty believable. Half our computers were locked, and they all had a screen that said, you have been encrypted, contact us for instructions on payment of ransom. And it gave us an email address webmafia at asia.com. He did not pay the ransom, but the virus was so severe, it cost him $40,000 to repair the system. Because it's not a matter of if, it's when. Now, back to the professional hackers. Based inside of USF's research park, they're doing what's called penetration testing. When we get hired by a company to break into their system and show them all their security flaws and how to fix them. Enter cybersecurity company Abacode. After it happens, we don't want to do that. That means somebody failed and it's very expensive to clean up afterwards. Cyber director Jeremy Rasmussen showed me how quickly he can find a password through easily accessible hacking websites. I put in the hash and I say uh, crack it and they, they figured out, oh, that's Corvette. Then we tried a harder combination. I've got all the complexity factors that most companies would require. That this guy has not found it. So we tried another. This guy found it. In just seconds. So how do hackers figure out who to attack? They like big targets. If hackers can crack into some of the biggest companies, imagine what they can do to you. Think of all the places where we leave a digital footprint. You might use your credit or debit card at places like grocery stores restaurants, hotels, even doctor's offices, where they can have your social security number, address, and your health records. Once Abacode hacks a company, they hand over a test report. And this is the level, so anything that's critical should be repaired right away, uh, as those provide entry points that an attacker could use to break into the system. Too often, hackers give us a dose of reality from a virtual world. My goodness, Garen, this story. Yeah, another thing that taught me, it's very personal. There was one guy that went dumpster diving and found a letter about a meeting and sent that, uh, sent an email to those folks and people cracked the, uh, no clicked on the email way. and they cracked into the, to the company. So not only are people trying to hack you with their computers and everything, but then they'll also go dumpster diving. They'll go dumpster diving, they will look at your Facebook, they'll do anything they can to find out about who you are, because right. that gives them a better chance of cracking into your computer or into your company. What was so alarming during this piece is when that guy was able to find, within seconds, all of this station's emails. Absolutely, right. and actually right now we're about to find some emails in seconds. We're going live on Facebook. I mm -hmm. have Jeremy Rasmussen and John Faye from Abacode, who uh, we just interviewed, and they're going to show us live on Facebook how quickly 
they can crack passcodes. Oh my goodness. So join our WTSP Facebook Live for that. We're about to end the current one, which is of the show. So we want to say goodbye to those viewers. Hope you have a happy Friday. But be sure to turn on your TV sets right now to check us out for the rest of the hour.